Like so many annual events, this year's Victory Ride is going virtual instead of hitting the streets of Raleigh. And while the event will look and feel different, the reason behind it remains the same. New at 11, CBS 17's Maggie Newland introduces us to one man that is riding for his family. Maggie. Marius, this year riders are choosing their own course. It could be a trail like this one or even inside, but it's not about where they're riding. It's about whom they're honoring and the lives they hope research could save. Cycling is a solitary sport, but when Jordan Duval is on his bike, his parents are never far from his thoughts. And that's what carries carries me on for all my all my training rides. His family's grueling journey with cancer began last May when doctors diagnosed his dad with stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. We didn't know what the next 24 hours was going to hold, and then it, it was such a relief when he had his first treatment. His whole family supported him in his fight, no one more so than Jordan's mom. Here, dad is almost losing his life, and what we didn't know was that mom was fighting her own battle. We didn't know, had no idea. And she was there taking care of dad, pulling him through this. And then months, months later, just eight months later, Jordan's dad was better, but his mom got sick. The type of cancer she was ultimately diagnosed with was stage four neuroendocrine tumor cancer. This is the last picture they took together. Before she could even start treatment, Jordan's mom was gone. Where she had a few small moments of consciousness where she was able to say, I love you, like it was very weak, but she said, I love you. That was real tough, I'll tell you. I don't know if you've ever been next to a loved one when they pass, but mm. yeah. I'm sure. Jordan thinks about that moment as he rides. It pushes him forward toward his goal of raising money for cancer research. That's why he'll ride 100 miles in the V Foundation's victory ride. And he won't do it alone. I'm actually going to be carrying some of mom's ashes with me. It's going to be a challenging ride, but I think that is going to it's going to give me a lot of motivation. I do have a piece of mom in me, and she does live on. And Jordan hopes his family's story will touch others. We actually, when we were talking to him today, we saw a woman approach him who had just lost her dad to cancer. He was a listening ear for her, so he is certainly making a difference in the community. If you'd like to find out more about the Victory Ride, we have all the information you need on our website. Live in Raleigh, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.